Welcome to the Millionaires mini series with your hosts, Stephanie Keith and Stacey Failing, here to set you up with the most luxurious version of yourself. This podcast is filled with wealthy women vibes and a sneak peek into the millionaires lifestyle. Whether your inner millionaires dreams of taking private jets to deserted islands or you prefer the lighter side of luxury, we have an opportunity for you that is priceless. Come join us as we share with you all of our juicy money secrets, mindset hacks, and so much more. Money may not buy happiness, but it can provide you with an abundant life beyond your wildest dreams. So turn up the volume, adjust your crown, and get ready to embrace your inner millionaire. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, So Stacey and I have an important and fun announcement. Uh, We are actually teaming up for Black Friday. We're taking our two signature programs, which is Digital CEO to Build Your Own App, and then Stacey's program, Passion to Podcast, where you're going to create your own podcast. And our Millionaire's Mindset course, and we're putting it all together for one Black Friday bundle that will only be available the weekend of Black Friday. So if you want to get first dibs on that and the special pricing, just go to the link in the show notes and you can sign up to get on the Black Friday waitlist. And we will let you know as soon as the link is live. And speaking of digital CEO, we have a guest with us today, Keller, who is in my uh, digital CEO program, just launched her own app. Keller, welcome to the podcast. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. It's my so, pleasure to be here. Why don't we just start out talking about kind of like where your mindset was at in life and what made you decide, you know what, I'm just going to go for it and create this app. Absolutely. I'd love to. Um, So I worked on Wall Street for many, many years and ended up um, transferring from there down here to Florida. Yay, fellow Floridian. Close by Um, me. (laughs) uh But I've always worked in the corporate sector and I've always been the big boss uh, in whatever role that, you know, I held. And it has been very, very satisfying, but it, I was always looking for, you know, that next thing, what's coming in the future. And I have been super into manifesting for 30 years, creating the future, self-improvement, all of those, you know, kinds of things. So where I was always getting stuck in the journey was the passive income. The way that it landed in my brain, at least, was, you know, passive income always had to be you're selling real estate, you're flipping houses, you're investing in the stock market. And it really never occurred to me to create something all of my own and to look at it through this brand new lens. So last spring, I got really serious about, you know, I'm going to dive into this and I'm going to start investigating other perspectives. And I took out my phone and I went to podcasts and I just, I think, typed in the word millionaire or something like that. And your Millionaire's Mindset podcast was the first thing that came up. And I listened to the episode, the first episode, instantly fell in love with it, told the whole world about it. (laughs) I've got everybody I know listening to it. And I was, you know, completely hooked. I loved everything that I was hearing, it completely aligned, it completely resonated with, you know, my frequency and what I was looking for. And I remember reaching out and I had just, I think I had just missed the sign up. I couldn't join the live group. Something had happened um, where that wasn't going to work. So right away I wrote to you, Stephanie, and said, well, when's the next one? And it wasn't even planned yet. And you were thinking maybe the fall. And I was just like, no, no, I don't have that kind of time. (laughs) I want to do something now. And I know it's now. And I think we went and talked about a couple of coaching options. And I think you were looking at maybe doing small group coaching. And I didn't have a small group. I just had myself. And it probably bugged you enough that you just agreed to let me, you know, have a one-on-one um, with you for six weeks. So we started that back in May and 
it was so transformative because it really offered that opportunity to look at things differently. And, you know, I continued listening to the podcast throughout and fast forward by the end, not even by the middle of June, I had launched my own company, Dream Life. And then uh, that was, I believe, the time that you had started offering digital CEO. And I was like, yep, sign me up, another possible source of, <laughs> of passive income. And so I went through digital CEO, and I'm happy to talk more about that if, you, if you'd like to know about my experience with it. But um, that is how I launched LifeSculpt, which is our app that's now live on Apple and Google. Yeah, talk about divine timing. I mean, because you reached out and I... I right? <laughs> kind of said for a while, you know, like I just don't have the space for coaching just because the kids are little. I have so many different projects going on, but it was totally meant to be and work out the way it worked out. And that was like such a good experience, I think, that for both of us. Mm -hmm. And I love how when you go through the mindset piece, because that's really what we focused a lot on was mindset mm -hmm. and limiting beliefs. And Stacey and I always say start with that, because when you go through that first, I think that's when some of the layers get peeled back and all of a sudden your purpose comes forward. The path just kind of lays out in front of you. And I just see that time and time again, where it's like, I know I want to do something. I just don't know exactly what I want to do. And then you start dealing with those subconscious beliefs and doing the mindset piece. And by the end of it, it's like, I know exactly what I want to do. And I feel like that's how it was with you. It was like one step after another, you just knew and totally went for it. And I think that you were the first person to actually complete your app in the course because you were just on it. You're like, yes, I'm going all in. This is what I'm doing. And oh my gosh, I'm like so proud too. You know, <laughs> it was like to hear that I'm like, oh, you know, and you're like, well, if I have subliminals, is that okay? Cause you have subliminals in your app. I'm like, yes, I want everyone to have subliminals. Subliminals <laughs> are great. Like do it. And so it's just, it's such an exciting moment for me as well. Cause I just, I feel like I was there with you the whole time and got to see it, this idea come out into the world and gosh, like how amazing yeah, you, is that? You absolutely were. And, um, I remember the moment because you're part of, um, when I was listening to Millionaire's Mindset, when I heard about, I think it was Stacy started talking about subliminals and how you, Stephanie, create them. And I was like, oh, that's that's my jam. That is what I am 100%, a million percent about subliminals. And I think at that point I had reached out and bought a few from you. And I mean, I absolutely believe in, I've studied neuroscience for years. So I, um, you know, I, I, you were speaking my language. And when we started talking about it in our coaching sessions, I remember thinking, well, I can't, I can't bring that up because, you know, she does that. I, I, I can't mention that, that I, I want to do that because I have to find my thing. I have to find my own thing. And, and it was you who said, no, we all have our own spin. We all have our own you know, our, our own vibration, our own frequency, and we're going to have, you know, attract the clients who are right for us. So you were the one who pushed me to do it. I was never going to mention it. <laughs> oh my Ever. gosh. Well, I'm so glad that it all came, came up because I think that's a common thing too. It's like, I hear Stacy and I have, we probably heard that with every single coaching client we've ever had where it's like, well, there's so many people doing this specific topic. Like how could I go into the market now. Well, no one, no one in the entire world is going to do it exactly the way that you do it. And just like, you know, I listen to multiple manifestation podcasts and some of them I love, some of them not so much and others. It's just like, it comes and goes like everyone's going to vibrate with you differently or align with you differently. And it should never be a reason to not move forward thinking that the market is too, you know, saturated. And I think with an app, it's like, that's how you stand out too. You know, how many individuals do you know that have their own app? It's usually just these big, huge companies with these big marketing budgets. And this is a way that, you know, solo entrepreneurs can make a name for themselves in the industry and um, not have to deal with 
the anxiety of social media. And that's like a whole other topic, I feel mm-hmm. like, but it's, it's a real thing that we're all kind of dealing with. So um, yeah, for anyone that's listening, if there is someone doing something you want to do and it, and you're thinking, well, I can't do it because they're doing it. Instead, look at it as like this person was shown to me for a reason because they're meant to give me this idea or teach me. And because of you, I added that uh, lesson in the digital CEO course on how to make subliminals. Oh, really? <laughs> that was because of you. I wasn't going to do that originally because I just didn't think that many people would be interested. Mm -hmm. And I created it and I have gotten so much feedback about that. Like, thank you. Like, this is so exciting. Like, and everyone is loving it. So that's all thanks to you. So I really appreciate it. You made my course better. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I was brave enough to say, Mm -hmm. oh, I like that idea. (laughs) Yeah. And I think Steph too, I bet you so many other people thought the same thing as Keller did. And I think by doing that, you just gave everybody permission because, you know, we never want to feel like we're copying somebody, but you and I have always said that just let us be that inspiration. And if you want to do that, like we don't hold that, you know, to ourselves, this is to be shared with other people to inspire other people that they can do that too. And Keller, one thing I, I was listening to you say is just like, I hear this a lot too, is what's next? You know, I feel like we hit this wall in our professional space, our personal space often. And we're just like, oh, we're craving something. And we're like, what's next? And for you, you hit this wall and you're like, what's next? But also I'm not waiting, you know, I'm taking action. I'm ready to take action. And I feel like that's where a lot of people get stuck is that they know that they want something more, but they just don't take action on it. What was it for you in that moment where you're like, no, I'm not waiting any longer. This is the time. And like, what, where would that motivation and inspiration, where'd that come from? Well, that's, uh, it's great that you say it that way, Stacey, because one of the things that I have said very firmly for oh, almost 30 years now is just take an action, just take an action, whatever you do, don't stay stagnant. Do one thing aligned with your goal or with what you're, um, you're committed to. And I can tell you exactly what it was walking out to my car about to get in, to go to work again, you know, the nine to five grind, um, and turning around and looking in the window and seeing my puppy with the sad eyes, looking at me, giving me the guilt, not wanting me to leave. And I see that every morning. It's, it's not new, but that day it just hit me differently. And I thought, you can't work forever. What are you doing next? It's time to you know, put your money where your mouth is, take an action. And that was the day that I looked up your podcast and found you guys. And it was like, you, you put that out there and then everything, all the steps just came like boom, boom, mm-hmm. boom. And it's like, if you ask the question or take the action, that's when the path reveals itself. I feel like we get caught in our head a lot trying to figure it out, but you figure it out by taking those little steps. Now, yes. I and the ask thing that it. shows up is not ever the thing that you expected would show up. hundred percent. Yes. It, 100% I did not time. suddenly get an opportunity to buy real estate. <laughs> what I got was access to your podcast and this whole new, I would never in a million years have dreamed of launching a company and launching an app and that those thoughts would not have occurred to me because they just weren't you know in my my line of sight at that time that's so true when we we manifest things we when we ask the universe for things we have this vision of what it is that we want you know And a lot of times I think that's where we miss those signs that the universe is giving us to take that action because we have this thought of what it's supposed to be like. And rather you were like asking the question, but you were so open-minded to the idea of new possibilities that you just took that as a sign and you ran with it and you were able to create this and never really even knowing that that was an opportunity for you at the time, but you just took those steps to lead you from one to the next and now it's, it sounds like it's better than you could have even imagined just because you, you were more open to the idea of multiple possibilities, not just the one. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. I never dreamed that this would be reality and it absolutely is. And I feel like it's happened fairly quickly too. You know, it's like 
so many uh, things. We, did, have... we started our first coaching on May 23rd. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, this is crazy. Like it's, <laughs> And that's what's so cool with the technology available because, you know, you had brought up real estate and I grew up with parents that had that entrepreneurial spirit, but that was the thing, right? It like took money to make money and you had to take out a loan or you had to have a lot of money saved in order to start a business or buy real estate or do any of those things. And now that's not the case anymore. Like anyone has the opportunity to do it. It's just a matter of doing it, of taking the action. And I think when people see, okay, she was able to go through this and do it and get her app out into the world or her podcast out into the world, um, it gives them sort of like that green light. Like I can do this. There's people out there that are doing this. So can I. So I wanted to ask you, because another thing that we hear from people a lot of, of times is like, well, I'm not really a techie person, so I can't do that. Mm -hmm. So what would you say? Do you feel like it was <laughs> um, too difficult technology wise or easier than you expected? Like, what would you say about that aspect? I am not a techie person at all, so I can completely relate to everyone who feels that way. Um, and what what really helped me navigate the whole process was your digital CEO course, because, you, you know, you can go to passion.io and you can sign up and follow their their training videos to launch an app. And I found that each time I was watching something there, I just had more questions. It wasn't uh, it was clear, but it wasn't it. The way that you handhold your clients walking through the course is so unique and so special. And I would have a question, but then I would pop over to digital CEO and look that part up in the training. And then it was like, oh, now I get it. Okay, that makes sense. And then also the accessibility to be able to reach out and ask you questions was just, you know, a game changer. So it um, it was much easier than I expected it to be in the end. But it was because of digital CEO. I think if I had tried to do it without that, I probably would have given up. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I try to make everything, I try to simplify everything, whether it's manifestation or business, because I do think there's so much out there that can be confusing. And so that was sort of my purpose with the course was to make this like so simple and accessible that anyone can do it. Like my mom is going through the course and she, Oh, that's great. Yeah. Like she, um, you know, is definitely not a tech person at all, but, um, it's just like, that's what is so incredible with this technology. Like you don't have to go to school for it. You don't have to be a computer engineer or coder or anything like that. And same with starting a podcast. It's like, at one point in time, if you thought about putting, you know, your voice out there, you would think about like a radio show and everything that you have to do to get onto one of those. And now anyone can do it. You know, it's just a matter of having that will and taking the action. And and that is one of the reasons why we wanted to bundle the Millionaires course with the Black Friday thing, because that's what we're releasing right away when you sign up, because I feel like that really adds to the confidence and that sort of like motivation or that fire inside of you to take that first action step. And if you have that, you can get through any of the tech stuff easily. If you've got that why and that, that drive. And I think too, you just spoke on something that is a myth that a lot of people feel like they can't do something or, you know, start any little venture that their heart is calling for is that you don't have to be an expert to get started. And I think that's, what's so helpful about how we shape our courses stuff is that, you know, like Keller was saying, you go on to the help site and not to say that they're not helpful, but it is mostly driven from the experts or the people that built the app or, you know, whatever it is that the platform that these users are using versus somebody that has just gone through the steps and had to navigate that independently figuring out all the kinks and then being able to take that knowledge that we had to struggle through and understanding exactly what those struggles look like to then make them clear for the next person going through that from a 
a, just a you and I perspective, not an expert to say, you know, like we, we aren't experts. We just went through the mess. We have a good idea of what that mess looks like and how to make it not so messy for the next person. And I think that's where the difference is, is because we, we went through it and we are trying to save other people from that headache and making it so easy to create the app or create the podcast and just get started knowing that it's okay to be a little bit messy because you can figure it out. Yeah, exactly. And, and that was what made the difference was that, that personal touch of another regular person who went through it and all the snags that you hit and all of the things you had to figure out. And then again, making it easier for the next person um, was just that, that is what made all the difference. Well, I'm super wow, excited I'm so to hear about your app. You want to tell yeah. us about it and where, how we can find it and all the details. I'm super. Yeah. Excited so, so the it. app is called life sculpt, all one word, and it is a subliminals app. So we, um, the, the app is divided into different categories. Uh, I like you teaching the, in the course, Stephanie, about creating the different categories. Um, so really depending on what uh, a client is interested in, we have rich life for all of the money stuff. We have calm life for all of the, you know, stress relief and anxiety relief and um, love life. And, you know, um, the, I, I won't go through all of them, but basically that's how the app is, is broken down. Um, as I said, it has already launched. It's available on both Apple and Google now, which is very exciting. Um, and <clears throat> because of how tremendous you've been to me, um, at Dream Life, we'd like to extend a, a special offer to your listeners, if that's okay. Um, one of the things that we're focusing on is, I have always believed in the importance of elevating the vibration of the planet and really all lifting ourselves to the next level. So we've started a project. It's called Elevate One Thousand, and we're we're going to we're going to reach it. We're getting pretty close. Um, once we have 1,000 monthly members for um, our app, then uh, what I'd like to do is, first of all, I know you ladies are into 11s and 22s, and those are your favorite numbers. So normally our app is $4.99 a month or $49.99 a year, but um, I would like to extend the offer to your listeners for $2.22 a month, and I'll give you the link to put in the show notes. And when we hit that 1000 mark, what I want to do is give that monthly proceed back to you guys to offer to another um, female entrepreneur who's starting out, who maybe doesn't have the funds to sign up for digital CEO or sign up for the podcast course or sign up for Millionaire's Mindset. Um, however you would like to, to create that, I'd love to partner with you in being able to give back and you know pay forward. Well, thank, thank you so you. much for that. That is such an amazing deal. I'm sure everyone's going to be going on their phones now to download that that app right away, and they definitely should. Um, Heller, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. And um, anything else you want us to know before we go? Just if you have, it, it, for anyone who's listening, if you have a why, if you know what your why is, take just take any action, take any step to move forward, <clears throat> excuse me, because what is meant for you is going to show up. And, you know, back to what, what you ladies always say is, is get clear on your why. And, you know, for me, you know, I, I told you it was that moment looking up into the window and I knew that I was ready to, to make a change whatever it is for you. I know, Steph, you talk about your kids all the time and how that was your big motivation. Once you're clear on that, everything else aligns. So um, rather than the reverse, which I think was what we naturally as human beings do to ourselves, we try to figure it all out and work backwards to the starting point. And that's not where the magic is. The magic is just to take an action. Oh, I love it. Okay. What a great way to end. Yes. And thank you so much for your generosity. And I love that you have your subliminals categorized because I feel like there are days where I, I want to listen to a specific category versus, you know, like maybe I'm just feeling some money blocks or something and then I can go listen to that. I love the way that you have that laid out and I'm excited to check it out. 
um, everything will be in there in the show notes so people can find you. And um, we will make sure that when we do apply your generous donation to our programs, that we will um, share that with you so that you can be a part of that journey as well. Because I think that's super important. And I love the movement that you've created and just super excited for what's next for you. Thank you so much. 